Alright, this is episode 75 in our Let's Play series for Space Engineer Survival. I was uh, struggling a little bit with what to do today, so we're probably going to end up doing more time killing than actual constructive anything. Um, but what we are going to do is because I wanted to show this first leg, um, we are very low on platinum. We're also pretty low on gold, but we're even lower on platinum. I'm going to take the Mega Miner out and get a platinum mine set up uh, before I go. I need some steel plates. So first of all, I am going to run... Collect here. And that has given us 20 steel plates. I'm going to grab those. And then I'm going to make 30 more. Because we need a rail for the Mega Miner. So now we have 50 altogether. That should be plenty. And then we are going to take out the Mega Miner. This episode will probably end up being late, by the way, so apologies for that. Uh, turn our batteries on, reactors on, gyros on, thrusters on, lights are already on, antenna is already on, connector is off, lift up, use the camera. Where is the platinum? It is over that word direction. Lift up a little faster. I need to be careful not to bump my butt against the SIC. Go out this way some. Because where we want to go is out here towards the platinum deposit. And I'm going to hit the dampeners and Stop, kill it at velocity, and now I'm going to go this way. Uh, we do not have the autopilot set up on the um, Mega Miner, so I'm going to have to fly this manually. I'm going to fly it starting off anyway at about 60 meters per second, I think sounds about right. Give or take. It's not going to be perfect because the computer's not doing it. I am. And there's the lag, of course. And it looks like this is actually further out than our uh, relay satellite. Now that we're up to speed, I will turn off the gyros and the thrusters. And now we will wait for our arrival, and hopefully this will stop lagging. Platinum. Um, I actually hope that the... Because uh, um, I would like to have the welder collect all the parts that we need. And, uh, instead... The lag is not helping. I can't tell what that says underneath the RS1 antenna. Oh, it's a gold deposit, space AU, and it's about 30 clicks beyond the 
antenna there. That's fine. Oh, and that's marked with a star, which I think means is in range of the salvage station. So we don't actually want to go out that far and set up a base without having defenses for it until we take out that salvage station, which, given the awful performance of our fighter, is going to be a little bit. The relay station is able to defend itself, but it's certainly not capable of an assault. So, the name of the episode here is Waiting for Lag, and waiting for us to travel about 50 clicks at 60 meters per second. So it's going to take a little bit. In the meantime, I will pontificate about future plans, um, and hopefully this will, by us not moving very much and making the video super complicated, um, make it so that we can upload this quickly enough to release on schedule, but we'll see about that. Um, in any case, the plan for the, the next few episodes, like I said, in this episode, I'm going to go drill out some platinum. The episode after this, I am going to set up a platinum mining station, um, and that's my two-episode break from scripting. And then we will get back into scripting, and again, I said this last time and didn't end up doing it because I got sidetracked and distracted by another project that I'm working on. But the plan is going to be to work on a menu for the autopilot so that we can control it a little bit more flexibly than we are now by uh, putting specific commands to fly to a certain waypoint on the um, arguments for the uh, programming block on the hotbar and be able to just generically say, you know, go through the menu and fly to this waypoint. Um, we'll still have to do a little bit of work if we want to add a new waypoint, but for waypoints that are already existing in the database, it'll be more straightforward. So that's the intention. We'll see how that goes. More than likely, I'll end up dif distracted and not doing it as well as I hope to or would like to, but we'll see. Um, but I mean, at the end of the day, we do need more mining stations for all of our resources. Uh, another thing that we will want to do at some point is create a scout probe that will be able to fly to other asteroids and find resources. Um, because I mean, we're building all these mining stations. The ice station is already pretty much depleted. Like there's not really a whole lot of ice that can be gathered from that. Uh, anymore because we've drilled out most of it. Uh, the uranium station is going to last us a little while, I think. Hopefully, probably. I mean, we can look. I mean, for sure, it's locked now. Paused at 95% full. More stone than uranium. But we can't see where the pistons are. I mean, again, I, I mentioned I need to rewrite that script because it's kind of awful. Because we can see that it's paused, but we can't see how far it's progressed into its drilling program. Oh, hold on a second. We actually can. We can look manually. If we check the... Not the radial pistons, but the other ones. So we are about 60% of the way through. And then obviously we have to take that top layer off. So we're getting we're getting there. Um, but there's still some uranium to drill out. Nevertheless, and that's going to be a lot of uranium. I mean, we haven't even, I don't think, processed all of the, what we've got. If I look at space industry here. And the inventory for that.
Lag uranium ore. We still got full refineries, and we've got a lot <laughs> in our cargo container there, and some of it is overflowing. Looks like we've got quite a bit overflowing here, actually. What happens if I move this here? It's going to move it back. If I put this down here, and then move this here, it should move all the ingots. Yeah, there we go. So it moved all the ingots in. Yeah, we need to do something about that sorting. That's not ideal right there. I wanted to put the ingots in here before it puts ore in here, and if it's too much ore to fit the ingots, I want it to move the ore out. But that's kind of complicated, and I'm not going to worry too much about it for now. Um, but either way, the point is that we have lots of uranium ore still, and lots of uranium. So it's not an urgent need, but we will eventually need to find another uranium deposit. Uh, so I would like to, as I had mentioned, set up a automatic scout to kind of look for asteroids and fly to them. And uh, at that point, we will need to manually scout for ore because the ore detector does not interact with the scripting API at this point. Um, at least not without some kind of mod that I have not gained the expertise necessary to code myself, nor have I seen anything that jumps out at me as particularly useful on the workshop. Um, it doesn't mean there isn't something on the workshop. I'm not, you know, saying anything negative about any of the mods that do exist in that vein, but I am not familiar with them, and I would prefer to write my own than to just steal one from somebody else. Even though if I do write my own, it'll end up being a copy of a lot of somebody else's code, I'm sure. Nevertheless, um, so we're going to have to do the, the ore scouting somewhat manually, but we can at least do the asteroid scouting automatically, because we can have the camera say, oh, there's an asteroid in that direction, that away, and then fly towards it. So that's a thing that can happen, uh, even if we can't do the ore detection automatically because between the autopilot that we already have and what I think will be a relatively straightforward scanning script to say you know raycast in all of these directions until you find an asteroid and once you do find an asteroid find the center point of it and fly towards that and then stop when you're about to collide with it and send some sort of notification along the RSN we may actually need some more relay satellites at that point. Probably will. Right now, our relay satellite is 20 clicks away in the network direction. Hopefully that'll be close enough. Um, anyway, we send some sort of signal along, and then we go actually manually control through the remote control block and do uh, an OR scan and see where we've got anything interesting. Um, but we're going to need uranium, we're going to need ice, although we do have ice next to the cobalt deposit that we can probably still drill out some. Uh, but now we're setting up a platinum. We're going to need gold. The other stuff I'm less worried about because we have a bunch of it. But platinum is necessary for thruster components, so we're going to need those. Uh, gold is necessary for gravity stuff and superconductors, and superconductors go into productivity modules, which we're not super worried about because the SIC is covering our needs pretty well at this point, but also for jump drives, so we may need more gold for that if we want to go anywhere other than Earth-like planet orbit. Like if we want to go to the moon, or we want to go to the alien planet, or whatever the other ones are called. Mars, for one. I know, there's a Mars-like planet. Um, but yeah, so we're going to need more of that stuff in general. But like I said earlier, platinum is kind of our lowest level in the inventory, so I'm going to go do this one for now. We'll probably do gold next. And we will also need to do a grinding ship because, as I mentioned, the ice station is pretty much cached. I 
think it's paused now too. Yeah, it's paused now too. Those are the radials. And there's only one elevation piston. And I think there might be a little bit of ice that's technically beneath the elevation piston. But not much. Oh, the lag. I'm sure the scripts that I have running don't help with the lag issue. But the larger problem is that my system is dog shit. Language. I do try to keep it in check for the most part doing these videos, but, you know, whatever. Even a six-year-old's probably heard that word a few times by now. That's only 40% done, so we got some room there to continue. Even though this is pure stone right now, we're not even getting ice. But what I was saying was, we will need to build a grinding ship so we can go grind up these old and exhausted mining stations. The ice and cobalt station that we will eventually build that are on the same asteroid will be interesting because those are both in kind of a tunnel. So what we might end up doing is kind of piping them together and having a joint combined ice and cobalt pickup. And that will be interesting primarily because there exists the possibility that we will either dominate our storage space with one or the other or have to augment the mining script to control the proportions somehow. Basically say when we're full up of cobalt to a certain level, stop the cobalt drilling and focus on ice or vice versa. Where again that comes down to augmenting the mining script which right now is very much substandard. Can you tell I'm trying to fill time while we fly this direction towards Platinum? Uh, let's turn on our thrusters. Lag permitting. Let's go a little faster. Let's go up to 70. And we're basically at the point where we need to start slowing down now, but nevertheless, up to 70. I don't actually know what our stopping distance is because all that is on the autopilot script that is not installed here. I make exciting videos. I actually had somebody comment on one of the older videos uh, talking about how you know it gets a little bit old watching me run back and forth moving precise numbers of constructed components and uh, you know welding them up. And this is an episode of me talking and flying someplace. Um, I, I definitely do get where they're coming from, but at the same time, kind of my idea in making this series was to, to legitimately show the, the gameplay of space engineers, and, you know, some of it is moving back and forth, trying to build precise numbers of components so that you don't waste resources, and getting them welded up, and some of them is, or some of it, rather, is waiting for uh, you to, to reach a destination that's, you know, so many kilometers away that you're flying towards and is either not worth using the jump drive or is 
before you have a jump drive. In our case, it's before we have a jump drive. And I can't really justify using a jump drive to go even 50 something clicks. Like that seems a little bit short range. Uh, the, the moon is, I think, 200 kilometers away from the Earth-like planet, but the alien planet, for example, I think is 6,000 kilometers, give or take. So, like, I mean, those are the kinds of distances that we're talking about. And, I mean, you definitely want to use the jump drive to do you know, interplanetary sort of things, but going for layer on the Mega Minor, which I'm hesitant to. Gyro's back on, get lined up ish. Start slowing down some. I think there's platinum on that larger asteroid as well, and this is just a kind of a smaller offshoot one, if I remember correctly. We've got pretty good acceleration on this thing when it's empty. When it's full, we don't. But while it's empty, we do. I remember how the Mega Miner set up. Our cameras are on the third hotbar for the landing gear. I hope there's something else on that asteroid. It's a pretty big asteroid and there's no markers on it right now. Oh no, there is a marker on it. No, that marker's past it. That's 30 kilometers past it and that's the dangerous gold deposit. As close as this is to the platinum deposit that we marked, though, I'm pretty sure there's platinum on there somewhere. Not that that's super important, because, I mean, we're drilling here, and we're building our mining station here for the time being. Although that does imply that if we ever do grind this platinum station down, which I mean we probably will at some point, that a good idea would be to have a welder nearby so that we can rebuild it over here somewhere. We will need to pick up some stone if we want to at least shell out everything that we're intending to build because we're going to need at least one internal plate to place the cargo container that will serve as a buffer. Everything else for the mining station can be built with steel plates, which we have a healthy number of, but even then maybe not enough to place all of it. We'll see. 200 meters away. This is a really small little bit here. <laughs> 
speaking of it being a really small little bit, I'm going to go ahead and turn on our ore detector so we can see what we're looking for. Expand as soon as the lag cooperates with me. There we go. Lest we, since it's find things. Most of this toolbar is actually useless because the script handles most of it by now. But it does. do the ore detecting bit. First of all, the ore detector is not interfaced with the API as I mentioned earlier. It might be worthwhile to move that because I mean three is one of the more useful ones because that's the one that figures out where we are and what we're doing. And I think I want to increase the range on the antenna so it's max range. Well, there's platinum there. It's kind of an odd place for the bookmark. I think I see it. It does look a little discolored there. idea of the bookmarks is that we get close enough that we can see it with the ore detector. That's kind of the idea. So I'm pretty sure this is the deposit that we're talking about. It looks like we've drilled out a decent amount of this already with the colonizer. So now, what we want to do is we want to try to center this more or less in the middle of the deposit. And then we'll hop out. build some steel blocks along here such that they will hopefully eventually sort of somewhat align with the landing gear up there. And the alignment doesn't have to be perfect because we can move it. But the less we have to move it, the better it will line up. With the deposit when we build the station. And we'll do it there. That should be good enough. That is close. Six, yep. And I do want to turn this a little bit because I don't want the drills to bind up. And then four is the one that's ready to lock. 
Wow, controlling this is complicated. Lock it there. Five is where that is, but I need the camera, which is on the first toolbar, item number eight. And then I need the autopilot or the script controls. One starts us up. So we want to drill down into this until we hit rock, or until we hit stone. Because then we've gone all the way through the platinum deposit. And then we will build the mining station to go radially out as far as we need to go. In the meantime, we will be collecting a bunch of platinum ore. Which refines down into not very many platinum ingots, but that's fine. We're going to get a lot of ore here. The ore that we drilled up the first time was all in the colonizer, and there's very little cargo space in the colonizer. I mean, that's uh, one medium cargo container, I think, plus whatever is left over in the you know, connector and cockpit and such. Where the small cargo container on the large grid mega miner has as much storage space as a large cargo container on the small grid, like the colonizer is. So we're going to get a lot more platinum ore here, because we also have the large cargo container is a lot more storage space than anything a small grid can possibly hold. Now, if I remember the way that this script is written, it will pause when it gets full, and it will stop and retract when it gets fully extended. We're only 1% so far full, and about 2% extended, so we will fully extend before we get full. We don't know how big the deposit is. We shall see when we get there. But then we can just unlock the landing gear, slide down until we bump into the bottom again, and lock and start drilling again. With the iron deposit, I think it was, that we found and drilled through but never actually built the station on top of. Because, I mean, we get a bunch of stone when we're doing anything, pretty much. And we can get iron from stone, so an iron deposit up to this point hasn't really been necessary. Uh, I mean, we did drill out the iron deposit on that one asteroid, and that got us a lot of extra iron. But we've got a bunch of iron altogether. What is it? Good luck. Yeah, we've got almost a million iron ingots. Like, we got a lot. I mean, almost a million. It rounds up to that, but it's 669. It's a lot, regardless. So we don't have to worry too much about iron. But that took us two extensions of the Mega Miner. We'll see how much it takes us to get through the Platinum. Not quite 40% so far. We are getting some stone, but I think that's coming from the edges. I think we're still drilling out platinum. That's full, so we can't tell what that is. Where's it going? Going into the connector. Yeah, we're still getting platinum. What matters is when we stop getting platinum and are getting pure stone. That's how we know we've punched all the way through. Like I said, this stone here, I'm pretty sure, is all coming from the edge. We will push the rest of this stone into the basic refinery and go ahead and refine it into whatever comes out and use that to at least place our bits and pieces for the mining station. We will need the cobalt from the space industrial complex to do the metal grids for the large cargo container buffer and everything else we can honestly build out of the stone here. I think we can at least place the large cargo container using the interior plates that we can make from the st stone here. So really all the welder has to do is bring out the metal grids. I should have just made brought out the metal grids from the SIC when I came. But I wanted to come out with a welder regardless, so whatever. OK. 
connector is now full. Putting all the platinum in large cargo container, the stone is going into the refinery. That will fairly shortly fill up. We're not quite centered, I don't think. Basic refinery is full, so now we're getting stone going into other places, I expect. Yeah, stone's coming into a large cargo container now, but we are still getting platinum as well. And here, we are drilling, but we are not all the way down through. So this is still a waiting game. How long is my episode so far? computer is such a piece of crap. Can't even alt tab to OBS without it schizoing out. Alright, we are about 40 minutes, so I'm probably going to stop here once this extension is done and I am in place for the next one. Um, this is basically what I did with the iron deposit, I think. Um, but we're not even 10% full and we're over 80% of the way through this drilling cycle but this will get to 10 and then retract uh, we'll disconnect the landing gear and move down and start back up again and then I'll start the episode at that point uh, and I will hopefully come back tomorrow ready to to build the platinum station We are still getting platinum. We've got a lot more stone. We'll see what our cargo situation is once we've punched through. Like I said, we're only at about 10% now, so I'm not super worried about it. But we may, we will refine some of this stone most likely. But we'll see how much, because um, I mean, a lot of the stuff we can we can fit on the welder using stone that's been refined with the productivity modules. Uh, and refining this with the productivity modules will give us a lot more ingots, so that's what I would prefer to do. But if we can't fit everything on the welder, for example, then it may be worthwhile to, to refine some of this instead of making multiple trips. But as I said, we can build most of the mining station with this stone. The only thing we can't do is the, the large cargo container, which requires some metal grids, which require cobalt, which we can't get from stone. Alright, drill is stopping because it got all the way fully extended. So that will lock in at around 360. to look at the advanced rotor right now. If I can find it. There's a rotor here somewhere. No, oh, right here. Current angle. That. It's locked. Okay, so now we're just waiting on the piston to retract and it's got four meters to go. Once that's fully retracted, it'll turn the drills off. Then we'll unlock the landing gear and move ourselves forward. I'm 
I'm not sure how much platinum is still down there. That looks like that might just be straight stone already. Go straight down until it makes a stop. Nice and slow so we don't damage anything when we go up into the bottom. We're moving 10 meters. Dampeners on as soon as we stop. Check our alignment with the thing. We're still ready to lock, so we'll lock. Go back to the forward camera and then start the drill again. Lag. See what our inventory is doing. We're still getting platinum, so we're not done yet. Anyway, I'm going to cut the episode here. Uh, next episode, I will have finished drilling through this and will um, go ahead and build up the platinum station and then fly the welder out here to help us finish it off, uh, you know, including the, the metal grids that we need to do that. But as long as we're getting platinum, we're not done here. We're not all the way through. I want to wait until this actually stops picking up platinum. We're getting close. We're not getting a whole lot of platinum anymore, so we're through most of it. But not quite all of it yet. Now we might be through all of it. Yeah, it looks like we're through all of it now. But I'm going to keep drilling because I've got plenty of room in here. So I'll go ahead and pick up all this stone. Um, both because we can use it to finish off the mining station if we need to, and because it's, you know, it's resources. It's iron, silicon, and nickel, which we do need lots of, relatively speaking. So, uh, anyway, like I said, we're going to cut the episode off here. Subscribe to see what happens with the platinum station uh, and whatever else we end up doing next, which, again, will probably most likely be an autopilot menu, uh, unless I come up with some other scripting thing or other thing that I can do instead. Um, likes, comments, and verbal abuse are welcome. We'll see you next time. Thanks again. Bye.